Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I want to talk about a movie that I've since watched twice, and that is Man Killers by David A. Pryor, who you may know for doing Killer Workout and Deadly Prey and Deadliest Prey. Deadly Prey is a little bit of a guilty pleasure of mine. Killer Workout is pretty fun. I reviewed that recently. Man Killers is just okay, in my opinion. The cover looks like this blonde sort of military girl with a gun in her hands and big blonde hair. <clears throat> it looks like it's supposed to be a little sleazy with some nice gratuitous violence. It ends up only just being all right. It's not as memorable or fun as Deadly Prey, but it is very, very similar. Which is interesting because it was shot back to back with Deadly Prey, but Deadly Prey gets all the recognition. So if you know that movie... You might like this one as a companion piece, I just don't think it's nearly as fun or interesting. The main point of the story is a fe uh, female CIA agent is assigned to train an all-female combat squad to go to Columbia to stop a renegade agent who is a drug cartel and a slaver. <clears throat> That's the gist of the story. She ends up going to this prison and handpicking these women that are all tough and training them and then bringing them to fight this evil drug lord. It's a very small scope type of film. As I said, it feels like it should be sleazier than it is. There's really no nudity or anything like that. The violence is okay, but nothing great or over the top. And it sort of feels like Deadly Prey a good deal, but not as fun. It's like it lacks the humor. It also has that sort of Dirty Dozen vibe to it with her hand picking these people, but the problem with that is you don't get to know any of the people. So you might hear their name once or twice, but you don't really get to know the characters or we're in the Dirty Dozen, you know, one character was a certain way and you kind of knew how they were in the movie or one guy was a badass. That You don't really get that. There's one girl that sort of acts like a pain in the butt and defies her a little bit throughout the movie, but otherwise that's it. You don't really care or know the characters. Overall, I thought the cover of Man Killers looked like it was going to be really fun and really silly, over the top, sleazy and gratuitous, and in the end it just sort of meanders towards the middle somewhere. It's a decent film, you can watch it for free on Tubi, that's where I watched it, but it's not nearly as good as Killer Workout, Deadly Prey. It might be more online with Deadliest Prey, which I found to be a step down, but it's okay overall, nothing great. So let me know, guys, if you've seen Man Killers, what you think of it. It's got a great cover. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.